Hello, Retro Nation. This is Chad from the Retro Junkies and the SNES Podcast, and soon to be the Retro Thought Pod. Yeah, right? A lot of hats so far. I don't know. I don't know how Rob Luther and Nick Stevens do it. That's crazy. But uh, anyway, um, I got a bit of a pickup video. Uh, I had an awesome Game Boy pickup from my buddy John Mitchell. And I'm looking at it. And I feel like I got a ton more extra stuff in here. Um, I have been playing quite a bit. I know, right? I got it yesterday, and it's and it's crazy. Um, first off, we will go with the games. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me see here. I got Castlevania, the NES Classic Series. I love the Classic Series. I love them. I mean, they're done so well, right? Um, Zelda 2, Adventures of Link. Which, I like that game. I don't know why I get so much crap, but I like it. Anyway. Classic Series, Metroid. Yeah, this is like a survival horror thing to me. It's like one of the first survival horrors. It's like, you know, the music on the title screen just creeps you the heck out. I mean, it is. Oh, man. And then, you know, you're going to get some deep crap just from the music. It It's crazy that way. And then um, you get like minimal weapons and that kind of thing. I don't know. Pokemon Ruby version. I'm not that much into Pokemon anymore. Um, I don't know what these look like. I've never played them actually. I stopped at red and blue and gold. So anyway, I'm actually going to play that just see what happens. I don't know. I also got fire red version. Um... Yeah, there were other games in there that I wanted, and these Pokemon games were in there, but I'm still going to check them out and play them. I don't know. I may give them back. I may give them to my kids or something like that, you know. But, man, I'm going to try them. The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, Four Swords. So, yeah, um, that's one and two plus Four Swords. So, I will probably try to... Uh, I would like to get my kids on it, because I think I'm going to hook up my SP, that, and the, um, into the GameCube, and we'll see what happens. I don't know. Hope it works out. I'm sure it will. That's what the GameCube thing is for. The Yeah, whatever. Castlevania, Circle of the Moon. Um... I think that was extra. I'm not sure. I don't remember actually looking at that. But, man, that's awesome. This is a cool game, by the way. If y'all ever... It's a cool game. Um, There are some regular Game Boy games. I don't know. I feel like I got a buttload extra of uh, Game Boy games that I was not expecting. I knew, like, a few of them were there. But, um... I don't know, dude. I don't know how much of this. I asked him. He was like, don't worry about it. But, golly. Um, Tomb Raider, the first one starring Laura Croft. It's pretty cool. I'm not really a Tomb Raider fan. Don't, you know, crucify me or anything. But it's not really my thing. I don't know. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. I have this for the Game Boy Color. I do not have this variant, so this is awesome. Thanks, dude. Uh, Star Wars. I actually got... Hold on just a sec. He gave me some cases, too. This is awesome. I got the Game Boy Pocket Gray. And... Star Wars. 
what's so funny, and uh, John didn't know this when we were doing the deal, and I didn't know I was getting the Star Wars. I knew I was getting the the pocket gray, which is awesome. But um, for Christmas, when I was a kid, uh, me and my brother, he got a clear Game Boy with Batman, which I am still looking forward to this day, because I loved that game. And I got a gray game pocket Game Boy with Star Wars, which was awesome, dude. You are, you are crazy. I mean, that's, oh, man. So, anyway, I opened that up. I mean, I ended up with a pocket Game Boy gray with Star Wars, which I had as a kid straight up. And it's just like. Oh, man, that's prophetic right there. Thank you so much. But anyway, um, I'm not quite sure what that is. I had it. It's a lot like Vaxanadu. It looks a lot like the dude from Vaxanadu. Um, let me see here. Oh, the Fortress of Fear. Yeah, man. Um, let me show you what this dude looks like. Ah, oh, man. I mean, I'm gonna show you this Game Boy right now. That's crazy. Whatever. I'll talk about it again in a minute. But anyway, check him out. He jumps exactly the same. Attacks and everything. So yeah. Um, which is awesome. Thanks, man. Uh, let me see here. I got Dragon Warrior 1 and 2, which is very cool. Thank you so much, man. Uh, I love Dragon Warrior. So, yeah. Thanks. What's funny is when I was a kid, I didn't really enjoy RPGs that much, and now I'm kind of all about them. I don't know. Solar Striker. We were just talking about this on Two Dudes in a... No, it was Retro Obscura, I think. Yeah, it was Retro Obscura, and somebody had posted music of Solar Striker. And I said I had just scored this in an epic Game Boy bundle. So, yeah, I was playing this, and I sucked. But it's a fun game. It is. And I like the music and all that. So, you know, I got... Decently far, you know. And then I got a Game Boy Advance orange with a backlight. Check that out. It is modded. It's very cool. Um, and of course that is four swords. So... I did end up with um, Zelda 2. I ended up with A Link to the Past. Uh, I ended up with um, with uh, Link's Awakening. And aside from the very first Zelda, I ended up pretty much with the whole set. So yeah, man, check that out. That is that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Um, it is modded, so yeah, um, it's not, man, I got an epic price, and then I got, this very cool case, <laughs> which, that fell, oh, no kidding, I don't know if you knew there were books in here, but yeah, there are. Series on unfortunate events. I don't have that one, but that's cool. And then, you know, it's got the holders and all that. So that's awesome. It's a Game Boy SP case, but it holds the, uh, it holds the, um, advance nicely. So, yeah. And then I got a Nintendo DS case, which holds the pocket very nicely. So, yeah. 
Oh! <laughs> this is cool. So yeah, he sent me the case, which is like, which is badass. Um, I mean, it's got some, uh, it's got its little quirks, but dude, talk about an awesome protector um, that I did not know I was getting. Well, he told me he was sending it, but the original deal, I didn't know I was getting it. So um, yeah, uh, he sent me a buttload of stuff, so, um, he lives, like, a couple of towns over from me, he lives about two hours, I think, and I, um, I owe this dude a drink or something, I'm telling you, yeah, but, uh, anyway, thank you so much, John Mitchell, you are an awesome dude, and, uh, <laughs> y'all have a good day, thanks, bye.